Hello, this is Tom Sykes from Sporting Gun Magazine. This month's video is a follow on from our duck calling piece, and we're going to concentrate on how to call geese in particular the three main species your pink feet, your grey legs, and your Canadas. Uh, goose calling is quite similar to your duck calling uh, in how you hold the call. So you start with a, a C shape, place the exhaust of the call between your thumb and your index finger, and cup those round to hold the call. Now the difference is, instead of these extra fingers acting like the bill, these are there to create the back pressure. So you almost nip them up and create this little cavity in your fingers. This helps to produce a sound. It's not as important primarily with the pink foot calls, it's more when you get onto your short reads of your Canadas. But it's a good to understand how that works. So same again, like drinking from a bottle, put your bottom lip underneath the call, your top lip against it, and then it's just a case of your pressured air and the different pressures of your air depending on the call make your different sounds. So we'll start with the pink foot call. Uh, pink feet are a very common sound uh, when you're out wild fowling if you've got them. Um, it's a simple call to master. This is a Solway call which I find very easy to blow. And to get your typical wink wink sound of your pinks, it's a case of holding the call like so, putting your lips on and giving two short bursts of pressured air of a <laughs> and that is as simple as it is for a pink foot. So that <laughs> is all you need. A lot of people don't give them enough when I'm at the shows and people have a go with my calls. They don't quite give it enough and it's like <laughs> <laughs> You've got to really go for it and just <laughs> two bursts of pressure there <laughs> and you'll get that sound. So moving on from that because uh, a lot of people, I hear people on the foreshore all the time or you see that on videos, decoying geese and they just constantly do that <laughs> <laughs> which is okay and it will work but it's very regimental and I like to try and sound as natural as possible so we have to mix that call up and make it sound as realistic as possible we do that by adding going from your typical wink wink to wink 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 so you're using sort of three short bursts of uh, pressure there <laughs> and then you're adding your grunts which is a lower pressure just to get that reed to move and make it sort of vibrate and get that grunt sound which is a <laughs> and again like with your feed chatter on your duck calls you can move these hands to change the pitch of that <laughs> like so so that's your your basic calls your wink wink your several winks and your grunt so to make to him go on further from that you use in my case my right hand holds a call i use my left hand which is a spare hand which I use either, you can use it either as a fist or as an open palm to def uh, deflect the sound that comes out at the end of the call and you're almost sending it back over your shoulder. This changes the pitch of the call. So as an example, <coughs> so you're sounding like more than one goose. So then you mix this together with your different calls and your grunts and to make a natural sounding uh, spread. I also try and do sometimes you get that break which is a very natural sounding call where it's like wink wink where it, it's the goose itself hasn't quite called properly and that's quite a realistic sound as well to add in there and it, it just the, the key to any calling and any decoy is to make everything as natural as possible and then hopefully it should work. It doesn't always work, but the nat the, in my belief, the more natural it seems, the more chance it has of working. So that's your basic pink foot call. So it's remembering your pressure there and that. <laughs> and moving that hand to make it sound as natural as possible. There's no set patterns. You can do whatever you think that sounds right. So we'll move on from the pink foot, which is a very distinctive sound, to your grey leg goose. Now this is another Solway call. So we've got the Solway pink foot, and we've got the Solway grey leg. Um, these, uh, the grey leg sound is a very random call. You've got a lot of grunts in there, a lot of high pitch calling. You can use different pressured air. You can, with the grey leg call, you can almost inflate your cheeks out as well to change the pitch. But the same principle as the pink feet and it's a case of mixing that up. So you, your typical is a 
and it sort of starts almost like your hail call with your melody start high and work your way down and your fingers can close in to change that pitch to get your grunt to change <laughs> like so so it's the same thing that's your typical sort of call of your grey like and it's a case of mixing that up same with the pinks close that hand move your other hand round and just mix it up with your grunts and your calls <laughs> And that's all it takes really. So these are very easy calls to blow. Um, there's not a lot of pressure needed, not a lot of back pressure. The main thing with your pressure, with your back pressure, is changing that pitch. So again, you're moving your hands, it just alters the sound of that call and mixes it up a little bit and makes it sound more natural. So there's your grey lag call. So it's just a series of high pitch calls, a lot of grunting, and make it as random as you want. They, they make a vast, um, array of sounds and just listen to them and replicate them you, you get all different calls but your basic is just like <laughs> and that is your grey leg call uh, one key thing i should always add about these solway calls is the ingenious design that Eddie's done where he's got threads um, on between your mouthpiece and, and the main guts of your call. These are really handy because you cannot <laughs> lose them or the theory is you can't lose them. I've had these for a lot of seasons as you can see my pink foot calls had a lot of hammering um, and never lost anything with these. So we'll move on from your pink feet and your grey leg to what I consider is one of the most difficult calls to masters which is your Canada call. One good thing, with it being a difficult call to master, a lot of people give up on it and there's not that many people out there that will use them. So in my opinion, if you use something that's different, it might work, you know. So the difference with your, with your Canada call is it's a short reed. So it's only got a little tiny reed here. So these rely more on your back pressure. Depending on your call, some are very difficult to get the sound out of and to get that break in the call. This is a zinc power clucker. Uh, the, Sort of around the 25 pound marks last time I checked uh, they're really sensitive call so these take a, a different kind of mastering and it's about getting the airflow right so once again you cut your hand round and you need to rely a bit more on your back pressure now with your Canada call the, the the body of the call is two different types you've got the honk which is a low steady uh, bit of air through which is sort of almost like a grunt with a cluck at the end which is a, a short burst of air which breaks the call and gets the, the noise out there and the second call to master is a cluck so once you've mastered the the honk you can do a cluck so to do a honk you put your lips on and it's just a and it's a steady burst of air a steady flow of air and then that short burst at the end so it should hopefully sound like this so And it's a case of with this call it's very sensitive if you blow it wrong it sounds awful like most of them do but once you master that you've cracked the main body of the call so you go from having the the long steady um, start to just that end bit to get your cluck so it's just a and that is all a Canada call is um, I don't know really why a lot of people struggle with them, but once you've mastered it, um, it's, it's nice and simple. So again, it's a case of moving your hand, mixing these calls up to just sound like a natural, natural picture. So hopefully it should sound like this. that's it so that is your basic Canada call so between the, the three different calls there's not that much difference it's just about the the 
the amount of air pressure you put through and how you put it through. So with your pink it's a <laughs> with your grey leg it's more of a <laughs> and with your Canada it's a <laughs> a lot more of a short burst. So get out there, get the calls, practice your back pressure, practice your different air pressures through and get out there and hopefully get some geese in range. Now the, the main thing to, to mention with goose calling is um, about what geese to call it all depends on the scenario if you're out on a foreshore and you've got a big skein of pinks and they're wide they're not that interested no matter how much you call the chances are they're not going to listen uh, for numerous reasons one they know where they're going um, secondly when you're blowing this from from a distance they probably can't hear you so it's all about knowing what to call now you, the main geese that you want to concentrate on calling are your singles and your small bunches unless you've got them coming into your decoys and you just want to build the natural picture so get out there don't annoy every other wildfowler by calling every goose you see within a, a hundred mile of you and um, just pick on the geese that you, you've got the confidence that you might be able to turn it all depends on the scenario and just get out there and try it so i hope you found uh, some useful information between this calling video and the duck calling video uh, at some point we will move on to doing some more advanced calls uh, like your widgeon whistle, uh, teal, pintail, drake mallard uh, but that might be one for next season so we'll get out there, get your duck call, get practicing with that get your goose calls, depending on what geese you have we're quite fortunate up here, we have pinks, canadas and grey lags occasionally we get white fronts as well so hence why I've got all the calls so get out there, get practicing and hopefully pull some geese in range thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next month